we're going to open up the hood. We're going to locate where the computer is. I'm going to get it pretty much set up and we're going to install this thing. What up everyone, Seabass here. Welcome back to Throttle Hobby. Back with a Beamer. Today, we're gonna to be replacing the uh, stock computer that's in here with this computer I ordered online. And from now on, I'm gonna be explaining actually why I do stuff uh, for this vehicle because a couple comments ago on one of my uh, videos, someone said that he didn't understand why I was doing what I was doing to this car. And me being new, I thought that he watched all the videos, but sometimes people click on the second to last or last one and don't really understand so from now on the new thing every time i start a video i'm going to be saying exactly why i'm doing it and why the car is having issues or is getting a new part replaced and for what reason so i'm replacing this computer because it keeps stranding me now generally when people have this problem usually there's a couple things that you replace and i have replaced and these are parts that actually came from bmw apart from that computer which i'll be getting into in a minute and that's because I've already replaced the keys and programmed them in. That didn't stop. I got stranded again anyway. I replaced the actual tumbler. I replaced the antenna, which is this ring around. Still left me stranded. Underneath here is an electronic uh, electric switch. Helps turn the car on. Replaced it. Didn't work. And underneath there, I got a brand new EWS because the old one, I guess, got water in it. And it, uh, I guess the inside's pretty much inflated and once again, still stranded me. And by stranded, I mean every so often I'll be driving around, I'll put the key in or stop at a store or whatever, put the key in and it'll just sit there and crank and crank and crank. And then I have to grab the scanner and have it reset the EWS, which is the thing I replaced, to the DME, which is their version of saying computer. So with that being said, that's why I'm actually replacing the computer. See, this computer here has something that went, uh, the owner of who does it, which I believe is whoever this guy is, uh, MSW Motorsport. What he did is he grabs computers from these E46s, puts them on his laptop, and he goes all the way through to the EWS, and he does an EWS to DME delete, which means that the computer has deleted the security system to have this thing start. Because as this thing works now, it goes from key to the tumbler to the antenna that say that this is the right key and the key goes to a system through the EWS and the EWS then tells the computer to start, which starts the car. Well, this thing's having an issue with that and that's why it strands me a lot. So I'm gonna get rid of that middleman out to the point where now it should just start regardless. Let's get that into this and hopefully I'll never get stranded again, but we never know. So. Let's get started. First, we're gonna open up the hood. We're gonna locate where the computer is. I'm gonna get it pretty much set up. All right, hood open, light on, time to get started. So first we're gonna locate the computer and where it sits in the BMW. Now E46s with an M54 engine, I believe. I think that's an M54, yeah, that's an M54. Computer is over on the driver's side, upper corner here or i guess if you're looking at it, it'll be upper right if you're sitting in the driver's seat it'll be left upper but this is basically where the computer sits now we have one two three four torque heads here we're using the milwaukee gun and it's a torque uh m5 so we're just going to be taking out all those and lifting the cover Of course, any loose bolts, better to have this little magnet tray here so you don't lose any of them. Let's get the other four out. Once we remove all four, although one of mine is uh, pretty much locked in there, but it's free. We're gonna remove the cover by lifting it up, putting off the side, out of the way. So, this first thing from what I know is if you have automatic BMW E46, this works with your, I think it's transmission, 
transmission cooler something like that but yeah that's for the transmission cooler supposedly only the automatic ones have this we're gonna be regarding but that right there is our dme that's the one that comes stock with the car so we're gonna have to do is unclip all of these clips pretty much take that one out by these little white pins pushing them up taking them out and then remove that one and put the one that we have with the EWS delete in here. Now for this part, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna use and wear gloves because it's electronics and I really don't feel like messing or touching with anything coming from a computer background that I have. And before we even get started on that, I'm actually gonna go the extra safety step just for computer sake and go into the back of my trunk and disconnect the negative terminal from the battery so it's safe to work on. So now that the battery's disconnected, we're not gonna know, we're gonna know though nothing's gonna happen to us. Start messing with it. So let's begin. This first one right here has a little clip down below here. All we're gonna do is use a screwdriver, press it, and it should just pop right out. There it is. That's one and done. Out and out of the way. Put that right there so next one looks like it's got another clip up here we're gonna press it and then pull up but first i think we have to lower this let me just double check ah i see is that holding it back so press this down and push this forward aha so we're gonna press that clip down and after you press that clip down you're gonna move this forward like this and that should just pop itself right out. Cool. That's the second one out. So now we're gonna do the same thing for the third one here. So we're gonna press this down and then move this bar right over that button. And then it should just pop out on its own, just like that. And then remove, put this out of the way. And now it looks like we got one more. So press down, over, press, and up. Cool. Oh, there is one more actually behind there. So we'll leave that one over here. And we got one more with just these dainty little clip, which is what we used with the screwdriver before to free the whole computer system. In and pull out. Ah, just like that. Now we have the whole computer disconnected. So, get back down to the basics. Cool. So with all the cables free, we now have two plastic tangs. That we're gonna have to use, press in, both of them, and then pop that out. Now that we've pressed those tangs out, we should be able to just grab it and pull straight up. Make sure nothing's tangled around it. And up. And there's a the spot for the computer. And here's the computer. Nice. So to not mix these up, I'm going to go ahead and put this one over here on this chair. So here's the new one, unboxed and unraveled. Pretty much read this. Besides the little serial number down here, everything else matches up. Same with the connector. So this is the one with the EWS delete. And that's what we're looking for. So now we're just going to take the new one. Make sure none of the wires are up against it and we're just going to slide this one back in where it was make sure none of the wires are connected to it that one's got to go around but looks like we are in and it's clipped in now we're ready to connect the wires back into it so we'll start with the rear one and the rearmost one was this little clip so we have the little clip goes back in here we just push it in it should be good to go so that's one next is this one which once again you just put that in and as it's in goes in you want to make sure that that's down so when you click it in that pops up we're going to move it back over the button. And once it clicks in, we know it's in. Move it around. Yep, that's in. All right, next one. Next one.
next one's this big one. Same thing as the clip. We're gonna put this in. Make sure the clip is down. Press, the clip should pop up. You should be able to move the clip over the button. Connect it. Cool, three. Next is this one. Put it off to the side. Same spiel. Gonna put it in. Make sure that this is down all the way. Punch it in. Click. Go right over. In. And now we have the last one, which is once again the button one. I'm gonna put this in. Just like that. Make sure it clicks in. And we're good to go. That's everything pretty much plugged in to the car. So with the EWS one in there, delete. We're going to now, before we put the cover on, hook up the battery and make sure this thing starts before we go any further. Battery hooked in. Let's see if it starts. Key. Ignition. Let's see. All right, so it starts. Brake light and ABS are gonna be on for me along with the emergency light because the trunk's open and we disconnected the battery. But, I mean, this should be the last thing pretty much on this whole uh, whole menu. So, but like I said, the only way we're really gonna find out is if I'm able to drive for more than a week without it stranding me. I will still be using the uh, computer in here just in case it does. Hopefully it doesn't, but it starts that will disappear once I start driving. So that in my book is good. So now that we know the car starts, the new DME, AKA computer is in and the battery's connected. Let's put the cover back on and clean this up. On a side note here, I am gonna wanna break into the computer that came with the car just to see what's in here. I might do that for a future episode when I'm bored or something. So I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, once you get the cover back in, slid into those uh, tangs back there, you're gonna put the bolts in, grab your five millimeter Torx and torque them down. to go too tight I'm just tightening them up a little bit just to make sure it's all good cool it's done so like I said I'll keep you guys informed hopefully this uh, stranding issue is done a uh, thing of the past and uh, well like I said I'll have to see in the next coming month if I could go at least a month should be good so with that being said this is Seabass Throttle Hobby, and uh, this is EWS and DME replacement and uh, reinstall. So, I'll see you guys soon. Later.